welcome to our beach volleyball universe. Today we are going to talk about how to develop good attack footwork for lefties. Today we have Eric who is going to show you a few of the adjustments he's making in his game with a little bit of help from us. Hope you enjoy the video. Roll it. So, Eric's been playing for about two and a half years, and he's taken a lot of coaching courses, but he's never really taken a deep dive into his footwork, when he should start his approach, how big his steps should be, and when he should take each step. So we found a few problems that he has, and we've seen these problems before, so you need to watch this if you haven't figured out your attack timing yet. We're gonna get into it right here. So, Eric, uh, tell me how long you've been playing volleyball first. Uh, about two and a half, maybe three years. Cool. How much have you been coached? Probably, probably 30. Okay. Probably 30. Okay, nice. That's good. You're ahead of the game. Because your, your timing is really on display here. Like, you have really good control of your timing. Despite the fact that you're kind of in mid-jog sometimes. So you're going, slowing down, going, slowing down, right? We have to kind of take on two things today. One of them is accumulating momentum. So from the beginning, when you start off, your approach should start slow. And right now it's, you'll notice a jog pattern that you're doing, okay? We're gonna ask you to walk for your first step. Your first step of your approach is gonna be like, imagine you're in a doorway, right? And uh, you just wanna peek out and see what's going on in the hallway, where you're like, what's going on? <laughs> right? That should be your first step. So it shouldn't be like, ah, we're jumping into the hallway, okay? Um, hallway's dangerous, you gotta figure out what's going on first. So this is gonna be your first step, but nice and slow and soft. We don't want you to bounce onto it or to jump on it. The other thing that's gonna be a little bit more of an issue is you have two different sets of footwork. And if we're gonna have consistency and you're gonna be accurate over time and you're gonna make the same good play every time, you should develop the same footwork. Now, since you're a lefty, I'm gonna recommend that you use left, right, left, right. Sometimes you went goofy footed, there's not like a major, major issue with goofy footed if you have a really strong or fast upper body. Okay. It's if you're weak in the upper body or you don't have a lot of whip, you don't have a lot of throwing experience, that a goofy foot approach really um, kind of wrecks you. Why does it like does it because of well, than... yeah, when you go goofy footed, it, it's harder to broad jump a little bit, right? But when you take off of here, you're able to push your right hip forward and then rotate back. So you're in a better throwing pattern. It's the same reason why like, we wouldn't be pitching and do this. Right, that uh, looks ridiculous. This, uh, you go across. Bop, bop. yeah. So that your right arm, or your left arm can follow your left uh, hip. That makes so much sense. Okay, <laughs> good. All right, so I do recommend that you change it. Um, there's gonna be a long like, kind of pain period oh, yeah. in doing it, but that's where we're gonna start. So, you're gonna approach again. On set contact, that's when you're going to take your hallway step, right? Okay. Your left. Then you're gonna see the ball, and then I want you to start accumulating speed. Get faster from there. So it's not gonna look like, uh, 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 right? I want you to gather speed. So if you're a lefty, I'm gonna try to be a lefty for you, right? <laughs> it's slow, two, three, four. Okay. Okay? So I like to say like, walk, walk, accelerate. Okay. All right? So let's see what it looks like. Two, pop, pop. So that looks glorious. Okay, so um, we'll put a setter in there. We'll try to find a good one, but all we have is Brandon right now, so hopefully someone shows up. Um, but Brandon can set you for now. We accept them on the Hey, day. Brandon, can you set for us? Let's see if his left foot gets down. It does, one, two, three, four. Now, do you feel like you accumulated speed or you stepped, Absolutely stepped? Not. Okay, step, step, step. it didn't build, no. right? <laughs> so a little bit more patience. I want you to walk, hold yourself back, and then feel like you're late, gather speed and go. Hallway step now, two, he missed his hallway step. So if you go back, we can show a replay of that actually. If you go back, you see that he took his hallway step just after set contact, which for this set tempo means he's gonna be a little bit early. Sorry, okay, a little bit late. And left, two, three, four, ooh, okay. Foot sequence was nice, okay? Now you can unload on that. So there you go, you gathered speed this time. And hallway, one, two, go now! Mm-hmm. Keep going. A little bit under it and a little early. Yeah, it's 
It's alright. Keep working on it. It's not gonna fix in one. One, two, go! Good. So it's interesting, right? Because now, like, when we ask you to speed up late, you kind of jump through the ball. Yeah. Right? I want you to really hold yourself back for the first two steps so that that ball feels like it's in front of you for the last two. A little bit of broad jump, and here's like where a ton of coaches get confused. There has to be a little bit of broad jump in beach volleyball. You have to keep coming through that ball. You don't want to jump directly straight because you're going to lose power. So we want a little bit of broad jump, which means for the first two steps, you're going to have to hold yourself behind the ball, feel like it's in front of you. Okay, so I'm, my last two steps are probably, I'm getting underneath the ball and need to still be a little bit behind it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. One, two, now, now. Boom! Hey. More of that. More of that. Nice. Walk. Go now. Good. Good. You're learning your timing. Mm hmm. Missed his timing step. So he's late. So there again, we're going to show another replay. His timing step was later than on a first few, right? So that made him really late and he had to end up shot putting it. So he's gonna try to explore this new timing and make sure that we can find a consistent one. One, two, this is a good timing step. Yes, okay, we saw momentum gather. Just had a set on the right shoulder, fine. We'll find that, it's a little windy today. That, you gathered momentum with each step. It's each step good. was slow, two, ba ba. So you're building speed now, that's what we want. Yes, go now. Good, good. He even hit that one on the way up, which will help him beat defense and blockers. It's kind of cool. You're fine. Two, pop, pop. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. Good That's hustle. Good hustle, B. There we go. One, two, go now. Yes. Okay. So it's good. So first of all, it's gonna be uncomfortable because we're making you do a certain footwork and we're not allowing you to just like do whatever you want. What's that gonna do? That's gonna breed consistency over time. Today, it's gonna to be ugly, but <laughs> dude, if you practice and you felt like you did everything right, you probably didn't really get better yeah. that day. You know, you want a little bit of feeling of like, man, that was difficult. That was, that was a little bit of failure. Hey guys, I just wanted to stop right here and ask you to go ahead click the subscribe, click the like button. And if you want to know when we come out with new videos, you can go ahead and hit that bell. Below this video, we have a few links that you can click on. Now, we're going to give you an option. I've been told not to give you guys options, but we're going to give you an option. We have a nine day challenge and you could get one video and drills to do at home every day for nine days. That's going to cover all of the topics in beach volleyball. We also have a course, a full training course that you can do at home with little to no equipment and that's side out and win tournaments and it has everything you need to know from passing setting attacking and fixing your arm swing which we talk a lot about today with eric so keep watching but at the end i want you to go ahead and check out those links so i'm going to do a little drill with you to try to fix this timing and help you understand what it's like to be late and then come to the ball cool. it's going to be super interesting all right so just be prepared to be uncomfortable again sounds great so this might be strange for you yeah, it's gonna be an uncomfortable feeling. So I want you to have a little bit of width and I want your left foot to be forward. So your hallway step is already taken. Okay. I'm gonna to toss the ball. I want you to make sure that you're looking out of the hallway already. That's it. Okay, so you're leaning, you're ready to rock forward. Now, make sure that your hips are facing me. They should be open to me. Your toes should be going where it's going. Good, that's where you wanna hit. Okay. I'm gonna to toss the ball and I'm gonna say open. Okay, before that, your eyes are gonna be closed. So if you want, you can take your shades off, you don't have to. But your eyes are going to be like this, but your eyes are going to be closed. I'm going to toss and I'm going to say open. You're going to find the ball, figure out how to accelerate to it quickly, and then hit. This is going to help you be really patient on your first two steps and figure out that you don't need to be running while I set. You just need to be leaning. Okay? okay? Just so you know, you're probably not going to get any cool highlights out of this one. All right? Hallway <laughs> right. stop. Leaning forward. Good. Ready to accelerate almost like you're a wide receiver, like ready to run off the line there. Here we go. So, head up, eyes closed, ready, open. Did you take three steps? You need to take the three steps. Do, do, do. It's gonna be quick and choppy. You're not gonna have time to load. Eyes up, open. 
Good self-coaching. <laughs> Gotta take three steps. Two. Here we go. You're not leaning forward, that's the thing. Yeah, 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 that's it. Go. Yes, good, good, ready? Go. Good steps, good steps. Again, ready, come on. Go. Yes, you have to go through the same arm sequence that you always go through, but now you have to go through it faster, okay? Go. Yes, did your arms do anything? If you're doing this with your hands, be able to throw them back quick. Here we go. Go. Boom. Ooh. Having this tension makes things harder to move. You know? So like when you have when you had your arms relaxed, you were able to kind of let let your arms do what they wanted to do when you're jumping. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that was pretty big. Wave them. Like you just don't care. Wacky inflatable flailing arm guy. Ready? Here we go. Go. Good. Now leave your eyes open. Okay? I'm going to throw, what I'm going to do is I'm going to signal you when to go, okay? So I'm going to drop the ball like this. That's when you take your hallway step. That's going to represent when the setter contacts the ball, okay? So you're going to do this, but you're not going to, you got to try to hold yourself back because you can't take that second step until you know where the ball is, okay? You know where the ball is, not when I'm tossing it, but when it's up in the air and you start to see the location. Some of them I'm going to throw really high, which means you got to wait and then accelerate for last three. Some of them I'm going to throw low where you got to get through all of them. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Feet together. We're going to take our left hallway step. Left. Two, three, four. Nice. Relax your arms, please. One. Did you feel like you slowed down or that you accelerated into it? You like I accelerated? Okay. But a little bit of pause. I thought you were under it. I thought you accelerated, but you were under it, so you had to jump backwards. Ah, that checked out. Yeah. Okay. I here we go. Walk. Good patience. You don't know how many players will have taken four steps already. Right? That's what you have to do. You have to be patient so you see where the set is, then you accelerate to it. Here we go. Walk. Two, three, four. Now. Good. Let them throw. Let them throw. Last. They're back on my last two. I don't want to overload you okay. for today, <laughs> but I would like so that you can write it down and think about it some other day is from here. You don't throw while you're on your left. You throw like when you're at the tip of going. So at the same time that you're like all the way just on the edge of your right, bop, bop, that's when they throw so that they reach max extension yeah, by the time your heel strikes. Yeah. yeah. So they need to hit max extension by the time your step close hits. Now wave that from your mind. Right? Walk, walk, accelerate. Here we go. Walk, two, go now. Ooh, you sped up. One, two, bop, bop. Ooh, party ball. Last one. Walk. That was your best open. Just a tough set. You came under it, right? So now we've done this drill. You understand what it's like to be patient and then have to accelerate late. So let's go live again. Two. Ooh, hey, did you feel that? Yeah. Super patient. Like you were tight to the net, right? You got brought tight to the net. So you didn't have your space, but because you had patience, you were still able to go into the ball. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Walk. Two. Oh my God. Laid on the timing step. And what you did was you placed it you didn't peek into the hallway. So if you just place it like this, then you haven't, you can't accumulate speed. Now you're just starting from a standstill. So boom, right? You got to get those shoulders leaning almost over your toes without being, without needing to go. Okay. Right. So it's like here and you can still kind of hold yourself right on the edge of your toes. That's going to be your first step. Two. That was, the placement again. So when you see it on video, you're going to see yourself do this Stomping. without okay. going over. Walk and lean. Two. Yes. Yes. That, that's that got to make you thirsty that timing, right? Higher. Here we go. Uh, go higher. So that one was a late start. Right. 
So he sets and then you're like, oh shit, I gotta go. Okay, so just try to match it. Because you're gonna start, like you're gonna pick up that foot before it even touches his hand. Because your foot plant, this first one, is going to match the ball coming into his hands. Okay. Right, that doesn't mean you leave at a certain point. It just means that we've taken our foot off of the brakes and now we're just rolling. So there's no acceleration yet, but the brakes are off. So we're starting to roll, okay? And walk to go get it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Feel it? You do it right, it feels so different. <laughs> <laughs> and walk to good, yeah. So I think you felt on that last one, you're like, ah, shoot, timing step. Yep. Like you had to take it, but you got on it on time. Even though you rush it, you got on it, and then you still stayed patient on that step. That left you behind the ball, and then you can accelerate into it. Yeah, let me take that direction step to like push into the ball too. Yeah. Cool. Sick. Nice job. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching us and Eric's hairy nipples. We had a great time. I hope you did too. Don't forget about those links below the video. If you want to learn how to side out better, we got that full training course. And if you want to take the nine day better at beach challenge, I promise you it'll be worth it because you will have a challenge, something to do every day for nine days. You get to watch a video that's going to be filled with information. It's our recommended video per skill. And you're going to get drills that you can do at home, little to no equipment. So go ahead and clickety click, click, click down there. And I'll see you in the courses.